Welcome to Ram Live. Join our product marketing manager, Rick Phillips, as he showcases the latest and greatest that Ram Mounts and GDS Tech have to offer. Now let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome to Ram Live. Today we're going to be talking about the mount builder tool that's on rammount.com. There's a link in the description that you can check out. We're going to be talking about five examples that you can find in there just to kind of show the full variety of all the different solutions that you can build out. We will be answering your questions in the YouTube live stream chat. We do have Sarah that is that is our monitor there, uh, moderator there today. Um, also, if you are watching during the replay, we invite that you leave your questions and comments on there. We'll be following up with you there as well. Um, we do ask that if you do like this video that you hit like, share, and subscribe. Make sure that you're signed up for notifications so you can see all the different videos that we'll be putting out. We'll be making many videos like these talking about various tools on the ramout.com website, different ramout product lines, the GDS tech product line, hidden features and benefits that are built into our products, but most importantly, answering all of your questions and getting you the information that you need to know. So with that aside, we'll get right into it today for today's episode, talking about the different mounting solutions that you can find in the Ram Mount Builder. Um, this is a tool on the website. In fact, I'm gonna pull it up right here. So kind of a split screen on here. Um, on our website, you'll see there's a big red button that says build a mount right here. That's essentially what this tool is. Um, it's the best way to get a quick solution to something. So anyone that's slightly familiar with RAM mounts will know that we make many, many different components. We have thousands of different interchangeable parts that can go with each other that let you truly build out any kind of a custom mounting solution. But the mount builder is the best way to get a quick top recommended solution because it really boils down to what device you have and where you're mounting it. And then with a couple extra steps, we confirm exactly what the best solution is for you. And so it's a great way to introduce yourselves with the mounts and then you can build out further uh, customized solutions in addition to what we recommend in the mount builder. So we'll get right into it now with the first uh, kit that we're gonna build out here is gonna be for putting a phone in a car. That's gonna be the most common application because pretty much everyone has a phone and then many people have cars out there. Uh, so we'll dive right into that example here. So if I click on phone, you'll see the different devices up on here. Uh, you'll see some very common items and also some unique things like a scanner gun. We have a cup holder, handheld PC. But if I click on phone here, we'll just kind of walk through these steps. We'll prompt you for the make and model of your phone. And the reason for that is that there are different sizes out there and we have different types of holders. Depending on what's best fit for your phone, uh, we'll know based on the exact make and model that you select. So in this example, we're gonna select an Apple, we're gonna select an iPhone 12 Pro Max. And then we prompt you for whether or not your phone has a case or a sleeve. And in that case, we have, or in our example here, we're gonna select without a case. And what type of vehicle do you have? So we're gonna select car, but you can see the other options we have on here. There's motorcycle, ATV, UTV, aircraft, we have forklift, scooter, boat, kayak, bicycle, wheelchair. So these are really the more common ones. There are other unique cases uh, because really you can mount anything anywhere with these parts. Uh, but I will select the car and truck now. And after selecting car and truck, you have different locations here. So there's your windshield, dashboard, seat, or cup holder. Um, again, there's more you could even do beyond this, but these are the four most common ones. So I'm gonna select windshield here, just to kind of see what windshield mount is available. And you can see the result that we generate is our double ball mount ram twist lock suction cut mount with the form fit holder. So these two would make up the complete bundle that you would, that you would be using. And now this does specifically support the phone without a case, which is important because I did select no case in this uh, selection here. So what I'm gonna show you right now, I have this exact mount here. So you can get an idea of what would be generated or kind of imagining a real life mounting system uh, compared to what we're showing in these results. So you have the double ball mount itself. You have the suction cup twist lock base. This is an incredibly powerful twist lock suction cup that would go up against the windshield or any flat non-porous surface. You have your medium length B-sized double socket arm, and then you have the diamond plate adapter up here, which then connects to the form fit cradle to support the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And we also just learned recently that this will also support the iPhone 13 Pro Max as well, since they're the same dimensions. But as you can see here, I have an iPhone 12 Pro Max that snaps in just like that. It's incredibly easy to take in and out. Whenever we do have a form fit holder for a device, I do always recommend going that route just because it has a nice clean form factor to it and has a much lower price point as well. And so that's one thing that we're considering with the solutions that will show up in the mount builder is the best features, best functionality, but also considering the price point. And so some of these options that we'll see on here, they'll have multiple mounts that are multiple options that come up and generally 
uh, the number one option is somewhere in the middle in terms of price range, but that also it also has the best of both worlds with the different features that it supports. So as you can see, this would make up the complete kit. You have the holder and the complete double ball mount. So that's one example of how you can build out one particular solution. And again, this was by selecting an iPhone 12 Pro Max in a car and then a few additional prompts such as whether or not it has a case and where in the vehicle that you want it. In fact, if, uh, so I, se I selected windshield, but if I go back and select another one, you'll see a dashboard option. So you can simply drill down to the dashboard if you like. And one thing I'll point out also with the windshield, you can even click add accessories and you can see there's a way to adapt onto a dashboard by using this friction dashboard base. So a couple different disc accessories that let you get more out of the suction cup mount by going onto a dashboard or another surface um, by applying the suction cup to more places than just the windshield. So I selected windshield because I was assuming suction cup, but there could be other suction cup mounting options to consider there. And then for seat, you can see there's a tough wedge option, um, higher price point, but very convenient to use. Um, and also a cup holder, similar concept, wedges into your cup holder and same type of uh, double ball mount. Um, so that covers our first example. I'm gonna set this to the side. Um, next one we're gonna show you is a tablet solution. So I'm gonna go back and that's what's great about our builder is that you can go back and forth, you can compare the windshield option, you can see what the price point is there and maybe compare that to a dashboard. So you may be weighing out certain preferences, maybe versus a certain price point. So you can really make the best decision for what will work best for you. So I'm gonna click all the way back to the beginning of our builder here. Uh, now we're gonna select a tablet solution. Um, just to kind of mix things up here, we're gonna put a tablet on a forklift. And we're gonna show what this will look like. So for the tablet in this example, I'm gonna select a Samsung and I'm gonna select a Tab S7 Plus. Now you can see there's quite a long dropdown on here. Um, you can see you can also search for a device. I'm a little far from my keyboard right now, so I can't type it in, but you can type in keywords and it will narrow down the search. Um, just so you, you don't necessarily have to navigate through a very long list. And that's one of the things about our builder is that we have many, many devices on here. Uh, so we do want to make it as easy as possible to choose the right solution. So here I'm going to select the S7 Plus. And we're now prompted again for whether or not the tablet has a case or a sleeve on it. I'm going to say no here, but you'll see also in addition to case or no case, we have the ability to add the IntelliSkin to that. If you're not familiar with, Intelli with the, what IntelliSkin is, it's a ruggedized case that also integrates a charging connector with outer docking contacts, and we have a whole range of GDS docking stations. So it's more industrial grade, but even consumers often like that industrial grade, so we have that option on there, and it's proven to be very popular. Um, so I can answer more questions on that, or we have other videos that talk about IntelliSkin, but it is great that we do have that feature for any devices where we do offer the IntelliSkin. Uh, but in our example, again, I'm gonna say no case. And what type of vehicle do you have? So again, a wide range of options on here. You'll see there's a little bit less than what the phone mounts offer, offered. And that's simply because there are some vehicles, maybe some lightweight vehicles where a tablet might not make very much sense. So for example, you're not gonna see a bicycle in this list. And that's really just to keep the data that goes into our mount builder as efficient as possible. Uh, but now in our example, I'm gonna select forklift. And similar to the vehicle options, you'll see there are a few um, locate, mounting locations among the forklift to choose from. You have a square post clamp along with a round post clamp, and that's for uh, like crown forklifts will sometimes have those or other styles. Um, overhead guard mounting option or the crown work assist. So crown offers a special adapter to go, that goes onto their unique shaped uh, posts. Now most forklifts out there will have that square post clamp on there, so that's the one I'm gonna select here. And as you can see, the, the final solution we have is the RAM X-Grip holder for nine to 10 inch tablets. So a nice universal holder for, for supporting the Samsung Tab S7 Plus, as well as the C-size RAM double ball mount with the square post clamp for going onto the forklift. And I have those parts right here, of course, <laughs> that I'll show you. So this is what it looks like all put together. So you have the RAM X-Grip holder right here, the round ball plate adapter that's shown at the end of the mount connects to the center of the X grip. You could actually you can actually offset it in a couple different directions, uh, but that simply connects to the back of the X grip holder, and then you have the nice rugged C size double ball mount. In fact, if I compare this to the B size foam mount we were looking at before, the C size has quite a bit more bulk to it, and that's simply because it's being put in a more rugged environment, going onto a forklift, and also supporting a larger device, being a tablet in this case. But as you can see, you have the tablet on here, and I'm going to attempt to put this in even though it's not even mounted. 
but the large X grip has these handles at the bottom that you squeeze to expand. And then you simply insert the tablet inside. I'm gonna have to rest this down. But it inserts just like that. So when it's mounted, you just pull the levers down and then insert the tablet easily. So the base at the bottom, this will support a maximum post width of four inches. And so as long as your uh, forklift post is four inches or less, then this clamp will be able to accommodate it. If it is less, you can always rotate the base to close in that gap that you might experience. But most forklifts out there, they're either four inches or less. And so this one is the most universal. There are other mounting bases as well that have different widths to support, but because this is the mouth builder with the most uh, recommended option, we're picking the most universal and most commonly used base for this. And that goes for the type of socket arm that's being used. This is simply the standard length one. So again, the most common application and the most common holder for a device like this. So I'm gonna set this one to the side. And now we're gonna go back to the beginning here. And we're gonna pick our third mounting example for today. We're gonna to pick another tablet option, and this time we're actually gonna select a tablet on a wheelchair. So we're going from an industrial heavy duty environment to a consumer that may want a tablet on a wheelchair. And that's a great way to show the variety of all the different tablet mounting capabilities that we offer here. So I'm gonna select tablet again, and I'm gonna select Apple, I'm gonna select an iPad mini five. We recently are, have launched solutions for the Mini 6. I'll be selecting the 5 here, though. Um, again, we're prompted to with or without a case. I'm going to select with a case on this one. And type of vehicle do you have? Uh, you can see that there's the car and truck. There's the forklift. I'm going to select a wheelchair for this one now. And just like the uh, other vehicles that we've seen, you have your mounting locations to choose from. So whether if it's a non-powered wheelchair, then there are most likely going to be some open rails available, whether it's an armrest rail or lower down around the uh, seat or leg rail. Um, but then powered wheelchairs will generally have track systems underneath the armrest or along the sides of the seat track. So I'm going to click into the armrest track. Uh, that's a more common one that I've been seeing uh, more often. So what I'm going to show you here in this example, we have two different options. There's option one, which we would consider to be top recommended, and there, there, then there's an option two. So I'm going to pull each of these up here. So the holder itself, this is the smaller RAM X script for tablets that will support seven to eight inch tablets. And let's see, we have the iPad mini five right here. So as you can see, drops right inside. You have handles on the back for convenient gripping. It keeps the tablet well exposed. Now I did select with a case and that's why the X grip is great for this. Um, it also holds it without a case though. And as you can see, the iPad I have, it does not have a case on it, but it's, you get the concept as far as it can support it with the case as well. So you now you have a ball on the back that will attach to the arm extension. And that's what this piece is right here. So this is an 18 inch aluminum rod that can be pre-bent to the right position. This is incredibly rugged. It often looks like a flexible component on our website that you can bend to the right position. It really takes a lot of strength to be able to bend it. It's meant to stay in the one position once it's on there. So at the top portion, you have that socket arm that the tablet holder drops right into. So with that ball and socket, you can configure the exact angle and position. And then at the bottom, you have what we call post and spline base. So this is used in many marine applications, but it works great for accessibility because it offers a nice quick release type of a function while at the same time being very rugged. So the bottom of the arm extension has this post and spline adapter here. And then you have the post receiver that would be the base that you connect to the wheelchair. So the mounting location I selected for this one was the um, armrest track system. So this base, has proper track mounting hardware. If we can get it to focus on there, there we go. Uh, this has the proper track mounting hardware to adapt underneath the armrest track. So if you imagine the arm rest right here, then you have the receiver facing straight forward, and then you can connect the, I know my black shirt's <laughs> camouflaging the mount, um, but the post just drops right in just like that, and it locks in place. So you can insert it from any direction. You can see it has kind of that snapping motion that locks it in place and is really secure. And then there's a button on the side. The way to release it is by pressing on the button. By pressing on this button, you can then lift the post right out. 
So it's also very convenient for a caretaker. Maybe it's someone that's helping out somebody that's in a wheelchair that needs to interact or make adjustments for the person in the chair. And so by having this type of functionality, it's very intuitive for anyone to use really because you simply press the button out and the whole thing comes out. So it's great having these features to be able to quickly release the system and also to be able to swivel the system. So as you can see when it's on here, there's also a knob that's on the bottom. And by loosening this knob, you can also, you can also twist the mount along the connection point on the wheelchair. So you can swivel it out of the way if someone's going in and out of the chair. So you don't necessarily have to take it out completely. And then you can swivel it right back. And then there's the knob underneath. Keeps it nice and secure there. So this is 18 inches up top, which means when the tablet is in here, this brings it close to eye level. And that's why we're making this one the top recommended in the solution here, because this is a nice tall extension of someone sitting in their chair. If it's a tablet for convenient viewing abilities, you have the you have the tablet mounted nice and up high. And we feel comfortable making this the top recommended one because it should not obstruct the user's view because they can still swivel it out of the way or remove it when it's not being used. Now I'll click over to the second option on here, which has the exact same parts except for what's in the middle with this arm extension. So I'm gonna take this one out. I'm gonna take this holder out of the socket here. And that's really what's great about all these parts being interchangeable. Every little component offers a new type of feature or functionality. So it's good to know so that anyone can, with enough knowledge, can really build out the exact solution to fit their needs. So this is the um, alternate arm extension that we have here. This is joining a couple of socket arms together. You have a standard length double socket arm and then the long length arm joined by a double ball adapter here. So these can all link together to give you the proper extension or if someone buys this kit, they can really do without the extra extension if they want to, if they want to get a really nice low profile. But with this extension on here, you can see now I'm adding the ball to the socket arm here now. And then by having the post, this is a post ball component that's at the bottom that locks right into the exact same receiver, just like that. And so now with this one, it puts the tablet a little bit lower. And with the ball and socket components, it's easy to adjust. So you can achieve a nice low profile mounting point if needed. So with the ball and sockets, it really does a great job of getting you exactly where you want your tablet to be secured so that it's in a convenient viewing position, but also maybe in a nice operating position. Depending on the wheelchair user, maybe there's some limited mobility or for a matter of comfort and convenience. If you're operating the touchscreen using an app, um, it's great to have the iPad or the tablet nice and low profile for that application. So different types of extensions, all incredibly rugged and all the same types of quick release features there. So I'll set this one to the side. Those are really the two main options for the wheelchair there. So there are those two options. If we go back and look at a couple other mounting locations, we can select another one here. If we were to select the seat track, so we were looking at the armrest track. One great thing about this, you'll notice if I select seat track, the top recommended one is the same mount that comes up. And so if I pull this one out again, uh, so this is the same base that, we're, that we were looking at for the armrest track, but you can also use this as the seat track. So that's what's great about this is that it gives you the option to mount it in a couple different places. If you have any kind of a track system on your wheelchair, this one will go to the seat track that is sideways along the seat. And then you can simply adjust the receiver base here so it's facing upward. And then you can put that same extension rod up and get the exact same type of mounting configuration that you're looking for. Uh, the option two that's on here is a little more of a heavy duty solution. This is, uh, has less functionality in terms of being able to quickly release or disconnect or swivel to the side. It's all on a ball and socket system, so you do have to adjust the ball and socket components if you're ever adjusting, if you ever need to adjust the mount, but it is more rugged. So if it's someone that's gonna be going down a sidewalk, maybe at any bumpy surfaces, um, it does do a better job of reducing any kind of vibration uh, that, that occurs there. So there's somewhat of a trade-off, but again, more often people are looking for the adjustability. That's why that one is the top recommended, but it's nice having the multiple options out there just so that everyone has everything to fit their exact needs. So that covers it for that example. The next example we wanna show you in the Mount Builder is gonna be a laptop solution. So I'm gonna select laptop. Um, currently, the when it comes to the laptop, we're assuming it's gonna be in a car or truck at this time. And so this one is very straightforward as far, as far as all you have to do is select the year, make and model of your vehicle. So in this example, I'm gonna select a 2020 Ford 
F-150. That's among the most popular uh, trucks that are selected here. And as you can see, these are all built into exact uh, specific mounts on here. So you have the base with the telepoles, the swing arms, and the tray. And I have one of these here. I know I'm good at dropping stuff, so I'm probably gonna make a loud noise and crash the whole set for all we know, so we'll see what happens. But um, I have one of these up here. So as you can see, you have the base itself that adapts onto the passenger side seat bolts. So that's why we call it a no drill solution. So every base is custom fit for the specific vehicle that someone is gonna select on here. And then you have the telepole system. This is a two part powder coated steel system. So you have an upper pole and lower pole with this knob at the top, you can loosen and adjust the height. And then with this knob, you can also adjust the direction of the first swing arm. And then you have a second swing arm coming out. Each swing arm is six inches long. So you get a total of 12 inches going into the vehicle. And then you have the ball and socket system here. This is the C size ball, same size ball that we were looking at with the forklift mount, uh, but that's mounted underneath the laptop tray. So I'm gonna set this right here just so we can look at the tray a little bit better. One great thing about the tray it, with the ball and socket system is that you can angle the tray so that you have better wrist comfort if you are gonna be operating the laptop while in the vehicle, if you're parked somewhere. Um, and the tray also does have a lot of great accessories you can add onto it. We have a screen support. You can mount your phone to the side of the tray. We have slotted holes. You can configure it to really make for the best mobile office experience using these components. So I'm gonna set this one down here. And just to show one other example, if I go back, I'm gonna select another vehicle. Let's say I select the 2020, um, I'm gonna say Dodge, Dodge Charger. So you'll see there's another mount that comes up on here and you can click into the pictures, you can learn more, get all the details that you need if you have any specific questions about the product that you're looking at in the mount builder. But you can see here, this is a very similar setup. Same type of a lower and upper pole system. You have the swing arms on here and you have the base at the bottom um, that will secure uh, to the specific vehicle I selected. I selected the charger, <laughs> I clicked into it a little bit fast. Um, I did see in the comment section, someone had mentioned Tacoma mounts. So just for kicks here, I'm gonna show you another example. So we've looked at phone, tablet, and laptop. Um, we've looked at specific vehicles for laptop. Um, just, for, just for fun here, I'm gonna select the, another tablet again. I'm gonna select the, the S7 Plus that we were looking at before. If I select the Samsung Tab S7 Plus, um, I'm gonna say no case again. Uh, this time, instead of forklift, I'm going to show car and truck. One thing that's great about this is that you can actually select the vehicle specific floor here. So it's going to give you the same results that we were looking at just now for laptop, except now we're going to show the same system, but instead of the laptop holder, it's going to have that same X grip that we put on the forklift. So I'm going to select the 2020. Um, I'm going to select Tacoma in this example, uh, just because someone did mention that one in the chat. Uh, so that would be Tacoma, uh, Toyota down here and then select model, Tacoma. And we did confirm recently, in fact, if I go back here, I'm gonna select uh, 2022. I believe the Tacoma for 2022 has been confirmed. Oh, it's not on there yet, sorry. I think it's been confirmed, just needs to be added to the map builder. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna reset here. Okay, I'm gonna to go to Samsung. Tab S7 Plus, not with case. Car and truck. I'm gonna select 2021 Toyota Tacoma. And you can see it has the Toy uh, Tacoma base down here. Um, it's another no drill solution in the sense that you simply remove the seat bolts, align the base, and then reattach the bolts. Uh, there are many uh, reviews showing this mount in uh, installed in the Toyota Tacoma, so it's great to see this in use beforehand also. But you have the same type of swing arm assembly here and then that same X grip that we were looking at for the forklift mount. So having that ability to interchange everything, you might be using a laptop mount and are upgrading from laptop to tablet, in which case all you need is the new holder and you can integrate into your existing setup, which is great. Um, next, we're gonna take a look at the, so that's our that was our number four example, looking at laptops. Um, next, we're gonna take a look at um, a unique setup here, going, going away from some consumer electronics, and we're going to pick out a cup holder mount. So I'm going to click into cup holder. You'll see that uh, we ask for the drink size. 
uh, mainly because we have two different sizes of cup holders, and those, these are the two styles that we're looking at here. I personally prefer the 32 ounce, that's the newer style. Now we say up to for each of these, the reality is they both will support a minimum of about 12 ounces. So the smaller one goes from 12 to 16 ounce, and then the larger one here goes from 12 to 32 ounce. Uh, so having that full range um, and a better design in my opinion is what uh, brings me to this one. So I'm gonna select a 32 ounce. Um, we have not selected any motorcycle yet. So I'm gonna click on motorcycle here. You can see there's also wheelchair, bicycle, and others here. But if I click into motorcycle, we will see the handlebar option or hand controls. Now, at RAM, we make many other motorcycle bases. We have a fork stem base, reservoir cover bases, uh, bolt head adapters. But when it comes to a cup holder, those don't really make much sense. So again, for the sake of keeping our builder as efficient as possible, we're sticking with realistic mounting locations for the given device that was selected. So if you had selected cup holder, we're gonna be giving the more reasonable applications where you would have this on your motorcycle. So I'm gonna select handlebar on this one. And you can see the number one solution is a lower profile, just a direct cup holder to your handlebar type of setup here. Um, so I have one of these here. Mounted on the bar, I believe the screen has a cover, but um, you'll see this is the cup holder itself. Now this is what I mean when I say it goes from 12 ounces to 32 ounces because when you have this back part of it collapsed all the way down, you'll see it still makes for a nice, clean, smaller cup holder if that's what's needed. But then if you're, if you're using perhaps a smaller tumbler one day and then a large 32 ounce another day, you have that ability to select the full range here. In fact, I have my tumbler that drops right inside, just like that. And then he has some rubber wedges down here that helps keep the beverage from rattling while inside. So you have a nice secure fitment of your drink while inside of the level cup holder. Now this one is on a non ball and socket system. This is all nice and low profile, very clean, just going directly. So keeping it as simple as possible. So this is a nice, simple go-to, very popular cup holder mounting solution. And that's what makes this one the number one uh, top recommended option in our mount builder. But as you can see, if I click into option two, there is a double ball, uh, double ball mount version of this with the RAM torque base that can support onto the handlebar as well. Uh, you have a little more adjustability with the double ball mount, but it's it has the same type of holder on there, so you have the same functionality of the beverage. So I will set that to the side. Now, just to recap, if I go back here to the main um, you should be well aware that this is a constantly evolving tool. In fact, I was looking at the backend data for this tool. We currently have over 23,000 combinations of parts that you can select on here. Considering all the different makes and models of your phone or tablet or even camera, camera is broken down by make and model as well uh, because some cameras have a GoPro adapter, some have a quarter 20 threaded adapter. All the makes and models of a scanner gun even can be in here. So any device that can be mounted, we want to mount that. Uh, we want to add that to our mount builder. And so uh, it's good to uh, routinely check in on this mount builder. If you're ever looking at components on the RamMount.com website, the builder does get updated frequently with either new vehicles, new mounting locations, or new devices. If a brand new device comes out, we'll determine what holders or what mounts will support it best, and then we'll add it to the mount builder as well. So we'll, we'll always be making updates. So, uh, we will be making some significant updates to this in the near future, which we'll be excited to share when that happens. But it's very important to be aware of this little inquiry tool that's down here. In fact, um, I'm gonna shift my screen because I don't know if you can see it. There we go. I forgot that only part of my screen is being shown here. Uh, there we go. So at the very bottom of the window on the Mount, on the Mount Builder page, uh, there is an icon that asks if you can't find what you're looking for to let us know. If you click on that, you'll see the form that you can fill out there. And so this is really just if you can't find exactly what you're looking for, maybe you found what you're looking for, but you're looking for a different variation. Anything that you do not find um, or, or have additional questions about, uh, we ask that you let us know and we will uh, make those changes and get our mount builder updated because we do want it to be as useful of, as a tool as possible. I think I said from the beginning, it's a great way to just start learning about the products without being too overwhelmed with all the information. It's really just good to know what do we recommend if you're putting this into this. Um, and so all the necessary questions, keeping it as minimal as possible, but it is still a very complex tool in just all the different mounting combinations out there. 
Um, and so I believe there is a link to this in the description. If you're not there already, maybe anyone watching this might be going along with what they see on the Mount Builder page. And so we invite you to uh, play around, look at all the different mounting capabilities that are in there and feel free to reach out for any questions that you might have. Um, going into the YouTube live stream chat, uh, we addressed the Tacoma mounts. Um, that's pretty much covered it with the form fit or the vehicle specific tablet solution that we were looking at. Um, I do see there was a comment from AC. Thank you for your comment. Uh, you were saying, do you make an exterior bar, an extender bar for bicycles? Extender bar for bicycles, I'm not familiar with that specifically. Um, we don't make any, we, we make mounting solutions for bicycles, but they're not necessarily part of the bicycle structure. And so I'm not quite clear on that exact question. So if you do have additional details, I might be able to look into that further. But um, if it's an extender bar, I don't believe we'd be able to achieve that with components that we have. Um, our components are more about the device that's being mounted. So if it's a phone, a GPS or a camera, handheld electronics or a cup holder, um, things like that would make sense for uh, bicycles. We do have track systems. Um, I have one that's right here. We have a top loading tough track on here. So I'm gonna close my split screen. We do have a top loading composite track systems and there are ways of implementing tracks onto different types of surfaces. You can even put a track onto a rail. So if you want, you could even put a track onto a bicycle. Uh, so there are a lot of different capabilities of doing things like that. We do have NPT pipe components. So we do have ways, we do have track and bar and pole components that you can mount into places and then create an additional mounting point. Um, I can at least say that we have not made anything specifically for bicycles, but I can say we do have universal components to potentially achieve what you might be looking for. Um, so feel free to post any additional questions or even after this video, you can post any additional uh, questions and we can see if we have the components on hand uh, to achieve what you're looking for, or at least get you pointed in the right direction. Uh, Cause that's really what these videos are uh, all about. So I believe that's all that's in the live stream chat. And I think I've covered all five examples on here. Um, but yeah, just to really recap everything, uh, the, the Mount Builder is an excellent tool on ramount.com. So make sure that uh, that's a great first place to go when you're on our site, as far as learning about the products that we have. Um, a second resource, I'm gonna pull up the split screen one more time here. So again on, and I got to pull my screen back down. Sorry, I moved the wrong screen. Um, let's see. There we go. Okay. Um, so the way to find it is by clicking on the build a mount tool right there, but it is also this section here on the homepage of Mount Builder it takes you right there. Um, once you're familiar with that and you get an idea of what kinds of solutions you can be picking out, you can also my, the other page that I recommend diving deeper, this is when you're ready to learn like any more advanced information, is to check out our components page. So under the nav here, there's a see all. We have many different product categories. You can see our track systems are on there, anything post and spline, uh, that was part of the wheelchair mounts we were looking at, or anything B size. And then you can use these uh, facets on the left to narrow down what you're looking for. So just a real way to just go into the RAM out universe, uh, looking at the components on there. But again, the Mount Builder is the great is a great non overwhelming way to start learning about parts. And I do see AC posted another comment. Uh, thank you for that. Extender bar is a separate bar to mount phones, mirrors. Okay. Um, I'm going to let's see here. Now I would be curious first as to. Um, as to what the extender bar achieves beyond going directly to the handlebar. Maybe it's to rise it up, or maybe it's to raise it up so that you don't, you're not looking down so much at the phone. In which case, uh, so, that, so part of uh, figuring out the right solution is to kind of narrow down exactly uh, why is the desired solution is needed. So if the point of the bars are to bring up the device that you are mounting to, uh, the way we would achieve that is by using extender arms. So if I go on our page here, I'm far away from my keyboard. <laughs> um, I'm gonna type in, or I'm gonna go back to components. In fact, you can find this within the components here. Uh, B size, we're looking at socket arms here. There's the mount function, part type. If I select, I believe there is socket arm somewhere, yep. 
So you'll see there's a standard, long, and a short. So you have different socket arm extenders, so that's one way of bringing the device up. Um, one thing I will share here, now one, th one concern I have when it comes to bicycles is putting too much bulk on the bike and not making it too, uh, too heavy. Uh, but one option that comes to mind is a track system. I'm gonna reach my keyboard here, track. Um, let's see, tough, track, here we go. No, I didn't type it in right. I'm gonna type in track. There we go. Um, and now I'm gonna select mount function. There should be handlebar rail, okay. So here are some ways of putting a track onto a bar. And then if the point of the bar is for mounting things onto that accessory, um, I'm going towards track because we have ways of mounting onto a track, um, which might be a good alternative to the bar. It's more, it's somewhat of an implement bar, but it's an implement track really. And we have this part on here that might be worth checking out. I'm not sure how applicable it would be for bicycles, but we have the solution here. So this is the Ram Tough Claw. This is the same claw that was holding the uh, cup holder base before. So exact same uh, claw component used here, except instead of the cup holder, it's going to a 12 inch wide track uh, that you can mount on each side. Um, so that's the cleanest way I can imagine to do something like that. And then you have our ball and socket track mounting components that are on there. Um, there are probably ways to put an NPT pipe on there. So if the, that is something that you're looking to explore more, we can probably uh, provide parts for that. But um, I do thank you for that question though. It's, it's good hearing about uh, parts like that. Um, so that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode. I wanna thank everyone for joining us today. Um, I hope uh, that this has been helpful for at least some people out there. Um, any questions, if you're watching the replay, be sure to post your questions and comments on there. Um, and again, if you did like this video, we ask that you hit like, share, and subscribe, and make sure that you're signed up for future notifications so you can see all the future videos that we put out. Uh, we'll be making videos about uh, tools like these on our website, all the features and benefits and hidden features and benefits of certain products, and really just answering all of your questions and getting you as much information as we can. So I want to thank you guys for joining us today, and we'll see you later. Take care.